Let's say you want to make a linearly spaced vector from point A to point B with any number of points in between. That's called a lin space or a linearly spaced vector. Let's start off by defining a function of lin space. Define lin space, and we want a start value, an end value, and a number of points in between. Now just to make our variables easier, we're going to say a is equal to start, and b is equal to end, and then lowercase n is equal to n. This just helps us out with our formulas. Now we have a chunk size between every single one of these points. If we have a really high end, we want the chunk size to be very small. So we have q is our chunk size, and let's say a b minus a, and then divide that by n, and that will give us the distance between every single one of these points from the start to the end. Now we're going to be returning a variable x that's going to be a vector. So let's just start it off as an empty vector for right now, and we're going to be appending x by the letter u. So let's say u is equal to a for right now. That's the very first number we're going to put into here is our, number, is our letter a. Since we're going to be using a while loop to do this, let's set continue to 1 for right now. While this continue is equal to 1, do this loop. And now we want to say x dot append. Now we want to put in this u value. We start u at a and put the u into this x vector. And now we want to increment u by its number q, this chunk size. Now we need to exit this while loop somehow. So we need to set continue equal to 0 in two specific conditions. The first one would be if u is, gets bigger than b and the q is bigger than 0. That means that this start is lower than this end point and our u is bigger than this b, and we know that we should say continues equal to zero. So the second scenario is whenever u is less than b and q is less than zero. That means that our start value is bigger than our end value, so that makes q negative. Let's say we start at 100 and we end at zero, and we're subtracting out little values until we get to zero. So we know that q is gonna be negative, and we know that u should be less than b at the very end of this. Once we exit this while loop, we should return the vector of x. Now let's test it out. Lint space of, uh, let's say, zero to um, 100 points in between. We get a good vector here, except for we have all these extra decimal points that don't do anything. What we should try doing is rounding it off related to this length of the string of this n value right here. So instead of just appending u to here, let's do a round of u. And the number of decimals we want to round it to, let's say the length of the string of n. Now let's add 1 to that length, just to be safe. Now that looks a lot better. We don't have those extra trailing zeros at the very end. And that's how you make a lint space.